guys and welcome back to the crochet toy youtube channel in today's video i'm bringing you another new crochet tutorial and this time it's another neopets one so it's been a little while since i've done a neopets pattern but i was just really feeling in the mood for doing one of these recently so um this one is actually for celestial streams she requested that i make aisha so this is what my Aisha looks like. So I made this pastel sort of prototype before I did the video, but then in the video, I'm showing you how to do this pink version. So obviously if you're familiar with Neopets, you know that all the Neopets um, can have different paint colors applied to them. So there's loads of different variations that you can choose in terms of the colors um, of your Aisha, but you can just Google Aisha paint brushes online and find all the different type of ones that you could make. And then you can just pick the colors that you want based on that but yes yeah, so if you're interested in finding out how to make this Aisha then keep watching. For this tutorial you'll be needing Aran weight yarn and the colours that you'll need will depend on which paint type you're choosing for your Aisha so I've gone with the pink colour scheme in this video and I will have shown you the pastel version at the beginning of this video as well but you can just go online and have a look and see all of the different variations of Aisha and just pick the colour scheme that you want um, and for that you'll likely be needing one colour which will be your main colour and then the secondary colour for any accents such as like the inner ear piece um, the collar and also the eyes but obviously again it depends on what paint type you choose um, will depend on which colours you'll be needing in this tutorial then you'll need some black embroidery thread this is just for adding the eyes and the mouth details you'll need a small amount of yellow felt this is just for cutting out the A that goes onto Aisha's collar then you'll need some fabric glue this is just for gluing that A down to the collar then you'll need some scissors, you'll need your crochet hook, I've got a 4mm crochet hook to go with my Aran weight yarn, but if you're using heavier or lighter weight of yarn just make sure that you size up or down your crochet hook as required. You'll need a yarn needle, this is just for sewing everything together and for adding all of the face details. You'll need uh, a stitch marker, this is just to help you keep track of the rounds, I use an off cut of yarn for this. You'll need some stuffing, you'll need more than this but this is just to demonstrate. And then finally, you may want some pins to help you keep things in place as you're sewing them down. So the head, body and legs are actually all worked kind of in one go for this. Um, so there's not so much sewing required in this pattern, which is good if you don't like that. Um, so we're going to start off by crocheting the head and then we'll work our way down and then do the body and the legs after that. So you're going to need your main colour for this. And again, just have a look at the picture of the Aisha that you're trying to recreate and choose the right colour for this. But because I'm doing pink, I'm using my lighter pink as the main colour. Um, and we're going to start off by doing six single crochets in a magic circle for round one. So that was round one. Then for round two, we're just going to increase all the way around. So that means working two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. And that should get us up to 12 at the end of round two. And I am just working over that tail for a few stitches so that that helps to secure it in place. Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets. Now in round three, we're going to continue increasing. So we're going to do a pattern of single crochet and then increase. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So that should be us doing that six times in total, which will get us up to 18 single crochets.
Okay, so at the end of round three, you should have 18 single crochets. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds of the head because there will just be single crochets and increases in the round. So if you can do those stitches, you should be able to do these. So for round four, you're going to do two single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you up to 24. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 30. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 36. Round seven, five single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 42. Rounds eight to nine, just single crochet all the way around so 42 single crochets per round round 10 six single crochet increase repeat five more times to get you up to 48 then rounds 11 to 15 single crochet all the way around so 14 single crochets per round i'll meet you when you're about to start round 16 as we're then going to be doing some decreases so i got to the end of round 15 and this is what the head is looking like now so we're about to start round 16 and as i mentioned we're going to be doing some decreasing in this round and in the following rounds so we're going to start off by doing six single crochets and i am just going to use my stitch marker now that the rounds are a bit um, bigger than they were to start with just to track the rounds Then you're going to do a decrease so there's two ways you could do this you can do a standard decrease which is where you just start like you're doing a normal single crochet like this but instead of yarning over and pulling through both loops on your hook go into the next stitch pull up another loop then yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's a standard decrease or you can do the invisible decrease method which is the one that i'm going to do so just go into the front loop only of the next stitch and don't pull up a loop or anything just leave it like that and then go into the front loop only of the next stitch, pull a loop through both of those, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. And it's just, as the name would suggest, a slightly less visible way of decreasing, but either one is absolutely fine. It just slightly changes the appearance of your um, Aisha. So pick whichever one you want to do. And I would suggest that you're consistent with whichever method that you use. Um, so then all we're going to do for the rest of the round is just continue doing the pattern of six single crochets. And then a decrease. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around and that should get you down to 42. So I've reached the end of round 16 and this is what the head's looking like now. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds as it's just, um, again, decreasing in increments of six. So for round 17, you're going to do five single crochet decrease and repeat that five more times to get you down to 36. Round 18, four single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you down to 30. Round 19, three single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you down to 24. Then round 20, two single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you down to 18. At that point, we're going to stuff the head, so I'll meet you when you get to the end of round 20. So I've just reached the end of round 20 and this is what the head is looking like at this point. So make sure that you add your stuffing now if you haven't already. Um, now we're just going to do a few rounds for the neck. So for round 21, you're going to do single crochet decrease and repeat that all the way around to get you down to 12 single crochets. Round 22, four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease, which will get you down to 10. Rounds 23 to 24, single crochet all the way around, so 10 single crochets per round. Then round 25, four single crochet increase, four single crochet increase, which will get you up to 12. So I'll meet you when you finish round 25. We'll need to top up the stuffing a little bit for the neck, and then we're going to start crocheting the body. So I finished round 25, so we've got the neck now, and I've added a bit of extra stuffing to that. And now we're ready to start round 26, which is where we're going to be crocheting the body. So for this, we're going to be crocheting around a foundation chain, but I'll show you how to do that now. So we're going to start off by chaining 11. Then starting from the second chain from hook, so uh, sorry, this one here, 
we're going to do 10 single crochets down the chain now you can work in these front loops if you want or you can work in the back bump i always just prefer to work in the back bump but um, it doesn't really matter it just slightly changes the appearance so either is fine and i am going to put a stitch marker here because it is easy to forget where this round starts because it is a little bit of an unusual round so i'm just going to work nine more single crochets down this chain Okay, so now we're just going to work 12 single crochets around the neck, so the final round that we just did before we started this one. And then to finish this off we're just going to work 10 single crochets along the other side of this foundation chain and if you're not too sure where to start crocheting into you can always just count back from uh, the top here so you can see that we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stitches so this must be the next um, stitch that we need to work into And as you can see, this time I'm working into both loops. Can be a little tight, so just take your time. Okay, so that's the end of round 26. You should have 32 single crochets now. Now in round 27, we're going to start doing some increases. So for this round, we're going to start off by doing an increase. And I am again going to mark the first stitch because it is easier to lose track on these rounds. Then I'm going to work nine single crochets. Then I'm going to work an increase. Then I'm going to do 10 single crochets.
then another increase then nine single crochets And then we're going to finish off with a final increase. And that should get you to 36 single crochets at the end of round 27. Now I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds until we start crocheting the legs. So for round 28 you're going to do 2 increase, 32 single crochet, 2 increase, and that will get you up to 40 single crochets. Then rounds 29 to 32, so 4 rounds in total, you're just going to single crochet all the way around, so 40 single crochets per round. I'll meet you at the end of round 32 as we'll then get ready to start crocheting the legs. So I've just finished round 32 and now we're nearly ready to start crocheting the legs but before we do that we're just going to crochet a few extra stitches to get us into the right position so if you just remove your stitch marker and then crochet an extra three single crochets now we're ready to start crocheting the leg from the next stitch onwards so for the first leg we're going to start off by doing five single crochets and I would recommend that you use your stitch markers for the first few rounds of the leg, just so that you don't forget where the round starts. So, then we're going to chain five. And that is round one complete. Then for round two, you're going to start crocheting into the stitch that you just marked so this one here so for round two we're going to do five single crochets again and again i am going to mark that as well about to do my fifth single crochet okay and then you're going to work five single crochets across that chain that you did as well it doesn't really matter what loops you work into here because we are just going to be sewing um this part of the leg anyway later so i'm just going to work into whatever loop i can see basically that's easiest for me to get into Okay, so that's rounds one and two complete. You should see that you're starting to get a circular shape here now for the leg. Just going to talk you through the next few rounds. So for rounds three to seven, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So 10 single crochets per round. Round eight, seven single crochet, two increase single crochet, which will get you up to 12 single crochets. Then round nine, single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you in round 10 as we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be working in the back loops and that will be the final round for the leg. So I'm just about ready to do the final round, which is round 10 for this leg. So in this round, we're going to decrease all the way around, but we're going to decrease in the back loops only. And I am going to be doing a standard decrease for this, i.e. I'm going to go into this loop, pull up a loop, then go into the next back loop, pull up another loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So just decreasing around in the back loops only.
Okay, then once you've done that, we're just going to cut our yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail. And then we're going to close up the hole using our yarn needle. So if you just take your yarn needle and go through the front loop only of each of those final six stitches and just pull on the tail as you do so. And then I'm just going to leave that tail hanging for now and I'll tidy that up at the end. So that is our first leg complete. You could add the stuffing now if you want to, but again, I'm going to do that a bit later on. The second leg is going to be worked in exactly the same way. So we're going to count seven stitches from where this leg finished to the left of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is where we're going to reattach our main colour. And then we're just going to be repeating rounds 1 to 10 in exactly the same way as we did for the first leg. So I'll meet you when you finish that. So I've finished the second leg, now we're going to do the third one. They're all worked in quite a similar way, but there will be a slight difference on this one. So um, we're going to start off by reattaching our yarn in the fifth single crochet after the second leg so one two three four five and then we're just going to do all of the rounds are going to be exactly the same as the first and second legs except there is going to be one difference which is that in round uh, number eight instead of doing seven single crochet to increase single crochet you're going to flip that round so you're going to do single crochet to increase seven single crochet instead but then all of the other rounds remain the same so if you just do that with the slight amendment in round eight then i'll meet you when you finish the third leg i've completed the third leg now we're on to the final leg so this is going to be worked in exactly the same way as the third leg so we're just going to count seven stitches to the left of the third leg one two three four five six seven and then reattach our yarn in here. And then just complete rounds 1 to 10 in exactly the same way as we did for the third leg. So now that all the legs are complete, I've just added some stuffing to each of the legs. I'd say stuff a bit on the lighter side for the legs. You don't want to overstuff them because um, then they might get a little bit misshapen. So I'd say stuff moderately for the legs. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start to crochet some flaps to go under the body, which will um, sort of close this part off and we can stuff as we go with that as well. So for the first flap, we're going to start off by picking either of the gaps between the front and the back legs. So the six single crochet gaps, you could pick this side or you could do the other side. It doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to pick this side and you're going to reattach your yarn now. And we're going to be working in rows for this. Okay, so for row one, you're just going to work six single crochets across. Let me try that one again. I accidentally got the tail caught up in that stitch. So that's row one then for row two you're going to chain one turn 
and then just work six single crochets across again and in fact this is what we're going to be doing for rows two to nine Okay, so that's row two complete. Just keep repeating that chain one turn, six single crochet across until you get to the end of row nine. Okay, so I finished row nine, so now we need to sew this to the other side of the body. So if you cut your yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail, you probably want a slightly longer tail than you think you need because we're going to actually be using this to also sew down um, some other bits and pieces as well. So get your yarn needle and then go to the other side the fr the six single crochet gap on the other side of the body so this one here then you can just start whip stitching along to sew the two parts together sorry try and make sure you can see that Okay, so that's the first flap done. Leave this tail because like I say, you might be needing this later for sewing down the legs to the flaps as well. Um, and now we'll move on to making the second flap. So for the second flap, this time we're going to be working in that four single crochet gap between the front legs. And again, we're going to be working in rows. It's very similar to the first flap, so I'll just explain to you what you're going to be doing. So for row one, you're going to do four single crochets across. Then for rows two to four, you're going to do chain one turn, four single crochet across. So I'll meet you when you've finished row four. Okay, so I've finished row four, so I'm going to cut my yarn again. Again, leaving a bit longer of a tail than I think I might need, just because I might need this for sewing the legs to the flaps as well. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to line this up with the first flap that we did. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that you can see that. And just try and estimate roughly sort of where the middle four stitches would be um, for this flap. But it's not the end of the world if it's not 100% perfect. So just kind of give it your best shot in terms of trying to get this um, lined up to the middle. And then just sew it down like this. I'm just going to whip stitch along. Okay, so like that. And now what you want to do is you want to start sewing the legs as well to the two flaps here. So the first flap and also the second flap. Again, just kind of do your best to line up where you're sewing. And then you're going to need to do this bit as well. So I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to over here.
Okay, so something like that should be good enough for this leg. So you're just going to want to repeat that again with this other leg over here to make sure that you're, you've sewn everything down so that there's no gaps remaining at the front of the body. And then we can add a bit of stuffing to the front of the body. So I finished sewing the legs to the flaps and now I've also added some stuffing to the front of the body. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, so now we're just going to kind of repeat the same sort of thing at the back. So all you're going to need to do, I won't bore you with showing this again because it's all exactly the same. You're just going to start off in that four single crochet gap between the back legs and repeat rows one to four exactly as you did for flap number two. And then you're going to sew that flap to flap number one here in the middle as best as you can try and estimate the middle. Um, and then also sew to the legs as well, making sure that you stuff before you finish sewing all the way down. So I'll meet you when you finish that and that will be the main head, body and legs completely. Complete. Okay, so I've finished sewing all of the legs and the flaps together and I've also stuffed the body fully now so this is what it's looking like at the moment. Obviously if you've got all these loose tails the same way that I have because I haven't been tidying them up as I've been going then feel free to just weave them through the legs or the body like that and then cut those to get rid of them. So once you've got rid of all of these tails that you have remaining, we're now going to move on to making the ears. So I've gone ahead and made one of the ears. This is what they're going to look like and I'll do the other one with you now. So we're still working in our main colour for this. So for round one, we're going to do three single crochets in a magic circle. Then for round two, we're going to increase all the way around, which is going to get us up to six single crochets. Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have six single crochets. Just going to talk you through the remaining rounds for the ears now. So for round three, you're going to single crochet all the way around, so six single crochets. Round four, single crochet increase and repeat that all the way around to get you up to nine. Round five, single crochet all the way around. Round six, two single crochet increase, repeat that all the way around to get you up to 12. Round seven, three single crochet increase, repeat all the way around to get you up to 15. Then round eight, single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. Okay, so I finished round eight. I'm just going to cut my yarn now, leaving a tail for sewing. And you're going to want to make sure that you make two of these ears. And now we're going to move on to making the inner ears. So you're going to need your secondary colour yarn for that. So this is what one of the inner ear pieces looks like. So I'm going to crochet the other one with you now. It's quite a small and quick piece to make. So in your secondary colour, you're going to start off by chaining five. Then starting from the second chain from hook, you're going to uh, single crochet across. That'll be four single crochets. And I am going to try and crochet over this tail as well, just to secure it in place. And then you can just pull on the tail a little bit to um, make the edge a little bit neater. So that's row one complete. Row two, chain one, turn, then decrease. And do two single crochets. And I did just do the standard decrease method there. Then for row three, chain one, turn, decrease single crochet then row four final row chain one turn decrease 
and then just cut your yarn leaving a tail for sewing and you can cut that tail if you've crocheted over it as well so once you've got two of these come back and i'll show you how to sew them to the ears and then we'll sew the ears to aisha so i've sewn one of the inner ear pieces onto the ear i'm going to do the other one with you now so you're going to need your yarn needle for this again and you're just going to position this onto the ear like so and then i'm just literally going to be whip stitching all the way around to sew this down you can use pins if you find that helpful um, but because this is quite a small piece i find it easy enough to just hold this in my hand so that's what i'm gonna do And then when you get to the bottom, the way that I like to do it is to just go through the stitches like this. So light pink to dark pink, then dark pink to light pink. And that just makes it a bit easier to then sew this part down to the head later on if you do that rather than whip stitching. I'm just going to finish sewing all the way up this edge. And then when you've got back to the top, you can just weave this yarn tail through like so, because you won't be needing that anymore. And then you can cut that. And now your ear will be ready to sew to the head. So obviously make sure that you do the same steps for both of your ears. And then I'm going to show you how to sew them to the head now. So I've sewn one of the ears on, I'm going to start the next one with you now. So you want the ears to be roughly four rounds apart, so if we count, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So we roughly want the next ear to be starting about here, in terms of sewing that down. So all I'm going to be doing for this is just whip stitching along the ear like this. I'm going to do that all the way down the ear and then all the way around the back as well and I'll meet you when I've done that. I finished sewing all the way around the second ear so once you've done that you can just weave your yarn tail through the head. And then cut that. Now we're going to move on to crocheting the antennae that go behind the ears. So I've crocheted one of the antennae, I'm going to do the other one with you now. So this is going back to our main colour now. So rounds one and two are actually exactly the same as they were for the ears. So we're going to start off by doing three single crochets in a magic circle. Just like that and then for round two we're going to increase all the way around which is going to get us up to six single crochets Ok, 
Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have your six single crochet. I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds now because they're very simple. So for round three, you're going to single crochet all the way around. So six single crochets. Round four, single crochet increase and repeat that all the way around to get you up to nine. Round five, two single crochet increase, repeat all the way around to get you up to 12. Round six to seven, single crochet all the way around. Round eight, decrease all the way around, which should get you down to six. Then rounds nine to 17, single crochet all the way around. So six single crochets per round. And I'll meet you when you finish round 17. Okay, so I've reached the end of round 17. Now I'm just gonna cut my yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And make sure that you make two of these antennae and now we're going to move on to making a uh, little bit of secondary color that we're going to sew onto these so it's going to look like this so if you grab your secondary color let's do that quickly now so this time we're going to start off by chaining three because this piece is going to be a little bit smaller than the inner ear piece Then we're going to work two single crochets across, starting from the second chain from hook, and I'm going to work across this tail as well. And just pull on that yarn tail to tighten that up a little bit. Then for row two, you're going to chain one, turn, and you're going to increase across. So that should get you up to four single crochets. Then for row three, you're going to chain one, turn and decrease across. And again, I'm just doing standard decreases here. So that will get you back down to two. Then finally, for row four, you're going to chain one, turn and decrease. And then just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing, and cut this tail. Okay, so come back once you've got two of these, and again I'll show you how to sew these to the antennae. So I've sewn down one of the secondary colour pieces, I'm going to do the other one with you now. <clears throat> so you're going to want to just grab this, and uh, row one should be at the bottom, and the final row should be at the top. And then I'm just going to use my yarn needle to sew this down in exactly the same sort of way as I did for the inner ear piece. So just sort of um, picking some nearby loops. If I can actually get into one, there we go. And then just whip stitching around. like that so i'm just going to do that all the way around and i'll meet you when i finish that okay so i finished sewing this one all the way around now i'm just going to weave the yarn tail through and then cut that and then once you've got both of these complete then we can start sewing these to the head I've sewn down the first antenna and I'm going to do the other one with you now. You want it to be positioned just behind the ear. So something like this and you're just going to whip stitch all the way around. I'm sorry, it's kind of difficult for me to film um, this part without hitting the camera with the antenna. But you're basically just going to be whip stitching all the way around just like this so i'll meet you when i finished sewing that all the way around i finished sewing it all the way around now as you can see so i'm just going to weave my yarn tail through the back of the head Okay, so that's that complete. The next thing that we're going to do is to crochet the eyes 
for the eyes you're going to need your secondary colour this is what one of them looks like um, before I've actually added the line the black embroidered line for the eye itself but we're going to start by actually crocheting the pieces so it's just one round that we're going to be doing for this and it's crocheting around a foundation chain again which we've already done so hopefully you're comfortable with that but I will show you how to do this anyway so we're going to start off by chaining six Then starting from the second chain from hook, we're going to start by doing four single crochets along the chain. And then an increase in the final one. And then working along the other side of that foundation chain, you're just going to do that all again. So four single crochets. then an increase and that's that then you're going to cut your yarn leaving a tail for sewing and also cut that little tail at the back if you have crocheted over that now the final thing we're going to do is we're going to finish this off with a fake single crochet to kind of make this more of a neat um, appearance so as you can see at the moment you can sort of tell where the round ends but to change that what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next single crochet go into this one pull that yarn tail through then go back to that final single crochet of the round into the uh, loop that's closest to us at the moment so this one and then just pull that yarn tail through and then kind of flatten this out a little bit and then hopefully what you'll be able to see is that you can't now tell where the round ends, which just makes the eye look a little bit neater. So once you've crocheted your two eyes, the next thing that I'm going to do at this stage is just to embroider a black line for the eye because it's easier to do it now because we can knot off um, underneath the eye as we still have access to it at this point. So let's do that now. So for the eyes, you literally just need to sew a straight sort of black line onto the eye. So I've got my black embroidery thread now and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So just come through the back like that and then go into a stitch like this. And just make sure that that looks roughly the same on both eyes. And then you can knot that off the back don't pull too tight because you might misshape the eye so just be careful okay so something like that and then you can cut your yarn tails leaving just a little bit of a tail at the back which is going to get hidden when you sew the eye down to the head So once you've got both of your eyes ready, we're now going to sew these to the head. I've sewn down one of the eyes, I'm going to do the other one with you now. So you're going to want to position these roughly to be in line with the bottom of the ear and maybe with a slight slant um, in terms of how you're sewing them down, but only very slightly. Um, and obviously you want to leave a gap in the middle that's kind of big enough for how big the mouth is going to be, which is going to go down here. So as with basically every other um, thing that I've been sewing down, I'm just going to be whip stitching all the way around this. I'm just going to do that until I've gone all the way around. I've finished sewing the eye down now, so I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through. And now we're going to need our black embroidery thread again as we're going to be adding the mouth underneath. 
So for the mouth, I'm going to come a couple of rounds beneath uh, the eye, so about here. And then I'm just going to try and go roughly to the equivalent stitch on the other side, like that. And then I'm going to leave enough yarn so that it can remain in a smiling position. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. You can do a technique where you um, bring the yarn or sorry, bring the embroidery thread to the middle of the mouth and then uh, create a little almost like stitch here so that the mouth stays in this smiling position. But if you want an even cleaner look, I sometimes prefer to just add a little dab of uh, fabric glue. So that's what I'm going to do in this instance. So I'm just adding a tiny dab, just keep it very small because otherwise this will be visible. Just a very small dab of fabric glue there. And then I'm going to press the embroidery thread into that. And that should keep the mouth in a smiling position, as you can see here. And just try and let that dry um, before you sort of do anything with this, because otherwise you might accidentally move it out of place. Now I'm going to crochet the collar, so you're going to need your secondary colour for this. And you're just going to start off by chaining 13. And then you're going to single crochet across the chain, starting from the second chain from hook. So that should be 12 single crochets. So I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so I finished row one and that's actually it for the collar. So just cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And then you can also cut this yarn tail if you've sewn over it, or sorry, crocheted over it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our yarn needle... And then we're going to place this round Aisha's neck and then we're going to sew it down. And you can just decide which way round you want it to sit. So if you want um, it to be this way or if you want it to be this way, it doesn't really make a big difference. But I think I prefer it this way. So, so just wrap it round. And also the other thing to note is that you will be gluing the A um, onto the collar in a second. So if you want to keep the seam at the front, it doesn't really matter because you will be gluing over that. So I might just do that for ease of sewing this together. You should just need maybe two or three stitches to sew that. That's probably enough, um, to be honest. And if you want to go a step further, you can also sew some of the stitches to the neck directly as well just so that the collar doesn't move around so you can go into the back like this and take if you can get into it take one or two stitches and just sew it to the neck like that but i'll probably just do the one because this is just going to be a display item so it's not going to get too much use so it should just be fine doing that so that's the collar added. So now we need to cut the A out of felt and then glue that to the collar. So I'm going to attempt to show you me cutting the A out of felt. I am just going to be doing this freehand so it might go horribly wrong, but let's find out. So you're just going to start off by cutting the A shape. So something like that. Then I'm going to cut a little bit of the bottom that doesn't look too bad and then the last bit is to just try and cut a little bit out of the centre this can be a little bit tricky
can just see there's a little bit of yellow that I still need to cut. So once you've got an A shape that you're happy with, then all you need to do is just add a little bit of fabric glue. And then glue that to the collar. Like that. So now we just need to do the tail and then that will be Aisha complete. I've skipped ahead and crocheted the tail because it's quite a straightforward piece. So I'll just run through the rounds quickly now. For round one, you're going to do three single crochets in a magic circle. Round two, increase all the way around. Round three, decrease three single crochet increase. So that will keep you at six single crochets at the end of round three. But what it will do is it will create a kind of curve to the tail. So that's the reason for doing that round like that. Round four, you're going to do four single crochet, two increase to bring you up to eight single crochets. Rounds five to six, you're going to single crochet all the way around. Round seven, three single crochet increase, three single crochet increase to get you up to ten. Then round eight, single crochet all the way around. Stuff lightly and cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And then we're just going to sew this onto the back of Aisha and then we're done. So you want to try and position the tail like this so that the point is kind of um, pointing downwards like this. And the tail is kind of towards the top of the back of the body, if that makes sense. And then once you've got it in a position you, you like, you can pin down if that will make it easier for you. I'm probably just going to hold this in place. And then I'm going to whip stitch around. Like that. So I'll meet you when I've done all the way around. I finished sewing the tail all the way around, so now I'm just going to weave that yarn tail through the body, cut that, and then that is it. So I'll show you a better view of the finished Aisha, and then that'll be it for this tutorial. So this is what my finished Aisha looks like, and the tail at the back there as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!